Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you super quickly how to use motion guides in Flash. And first things first, I'm going to make an object to animate with. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a red circle. I'm going to make it into a movie clip. Okay, next I'm going to go over to this frame, right click and click on Create Classic Tween. Okay, next I'm going to add some frames. Um, I'm going to add about 60. Uh, you can just choose as many as you want. I'm just going to use 60 for this example. I'm going to go and insert keyframe. Okay, so now we've got a really simple tween going on. Next, go and right click on layer 1 and go on add classic motion guide. Okay, so this, this creates a guide layer and this is where you're going to draw your path. Okay, so there's a couple of ways I usually draw the path. I'll either use the line tool and just create a series of curved lines or the pencil tool. And I'm going to use the pencil tool for this tutorial because it's a, it's a lot quicker. Okay, now I'm going to keep it on green so it, it stands out against the red. And I'm just going to start drawing the path. Okay, I'm just going to make a few curves, pretty simple. Now you'll notice as soon as I let go of this tool and stop drawing, the red circle will snap to the end of the line. If you look, there we go. Okay, so we're almost done. All we have to do now is go to the last frame and tell Flash where we want the circle to stop on the line. So I'm just going to drag it over to the end of the line here. It should snap to the end there. And then go back to the start. Press play and it will start moving across the path. Now if you export, you'll see the green line is gone. That's because it's a guide layer and it never show up when you export. Okay, now what you can do is you can edit the path wherever you want, like this. You'll notice that the red circle is moving and that's to accommodate the changes. So if you go back and play it, it will just go along the path like normal. So it can react to any changes you want. And what you can even do is if I go here and I click on the path layer, what you can even do is if I just take up the pencil tool again and draw, what you can even do is add more on and even make it cross lines like this. Now what I'll do is I'll just drag this to the new end of the line. But what we'll do is it will keep doing it and it'll even still go through the path even though it crosses the line so it doesn't, it doesn't confuse it. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Also, if you want to request a tutorial for me to do, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below or you can message me on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Thanks.